thank you for the uh, Knight of Honor Award to Fiji Islands. It is my pleasure to receive uh, the award is indeed for, for the country, uh, Fiji itself. And I'd like to thank uh, Asia One Magazine, uh, in particular Mr. Rajat Shakul, the Global Head and Principal, uh, for the uh, consideration. And early on, my best wishes to the 14th edition of the Asia Africa Business and Social Forum. I think this is a very important occasion, a gathering, uh, the e-summit uh, that you are convening uh, at a time when physical gathering is not possible, all made impossible because of a uh, COVID-19 pandemic that is affecting us all. And in this respect, we are very grateful to the government of India for early on providing us with the 100,000 COVID shield vaccines, which has helped us uh, prepare to take the early steps towards opening up. And in Fiji now, uh, with the pandemic uh, being almost non-existent, uh, zero cases uh, in some 380 days, in a span of four months uh, this year, April to now, uh, we have over 45,000 cases, but the good news is that 94-95% uh, of the age-eligible people have been vaccinated with the first dose and almost 45% with the second dose and we are preparing to finish the vaccination by the uh, end of November this year, which will then make it possible for the rest of the world to visit Fiji to come to Fiji for business and other opportunities. This is the time to invest in Fiji. The time couldn't have been better because you have a lot of opportunities now going at a very good, competitive, reasonable and much lower prices than would have been otherwise. So I invite this gathering to uh, explore opportunities in Fiji, uh, in the real estate, from manufacturing, education, healthcare, tourism, hospitality, you name it, the, the service sector. Heaps of opportunities, abundance of business connections that can be made.